Guys, I'm known to drop myself at the wall, and that's one of those cases. <laughs> and I already royally screwed up. Hey guys, I'm Rod the Fox, and welcome back to From the Depths. And looks like the music has changed again. Like, is the music different now? Like every time you launch the game? I mean, I'm not complaining if it is. No. <laughs> Why did I just click on that? I need to go to here. Because, well, we got rather a ridiculous uh, build to get going with here. I need to turn there. Minor volume readjustment. Um. Okay, so these are the auto saves. Okay. Oh, this is the uh, thing that was... This is the last thing I was building on. Uh, where is this? It's in here. Here we go. I do have, I do, uh, I have given it a name. And I might actually stick with this name on like the previous builds because it makes sense. Now, what my idea is, basically I'm going to move these beams and I'm gonna move them up. I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second. Okay, this is what I did. It may not look a bit different. Well, it looks bigger. Here's why. I decided to make a, a walkway out of them. And don't worry, guys. This is two layers thick of pure metal. And the reason why I decided to go with metal instead of like going with metal and wood. If these do happen to take an EMP shot... It would literally go no further than this spot right here because everything else is wood except for these uh, metal beams right here and there's currently three on each side so there's one here and there's one here right in the middle right in between and like this and there's another one here right at the other end so this thing is quite beefed up and i'll show you guys exactly what i did in order to achieve this Okay, um, okay, so where does this start to actually, uh, okay, I need to find, oh, that's perfect. Okay, cut this out. Two, three, perfect. Now go. Now, I am doing this one slightly different. Well, say, the building process of it actually is slightly different because I built the outside first, but the overall end result is just going to be the exact same. Okay. So... Oh, so this is going to have a built-in floor. This is going to be kind of nice. Oh, now this is from the Dutch music, I remember. I don't know why my voice... I don't know why my voice just did that, but yeah. This is from the Dutch music. I'm not saying that, um... I hate the uh new music but yeah this is what i think of when i hear from the depths okay i actually kind of messed up here uh okay yeah there we go yeah make sure that the bottom is four wide so you can have that extra layer of armor in here okay wait whoops okay went a little bit too far and I know this is actually going to be the most aerodynamic thing in the world because this is literally just one solid, one solid block with uh, um, sloped edges. But meh, what are you going to do? So I mean, like I said, like I I want to do something different. I don't want to go with like the same old, same old anymore. And I think this is a pretty good shot at it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I essentially just want to break my own mold. And the reason why I go with these bulkhead doors, they're so much nicer than the standard doors. Because I did try using standard doors on these, yeah. Yeah. The the, the uh, standard doors do not hold that candle to these doors. I love these. Not only because of the design, and like how, like, kind of like, um, uh, reinforced. Uh, they look like something I the bulkhead doors for Christ's sake. But 
Yeah, the opening animation is fast, but it's also really, really fluid. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these. Or it would say copy this and just go all the way down the line. Because it saved me a lot of time. And since I'm literally just going to be doing the same thing, it's kind of no point in doing the same thing twice over when you've already done it once. And this is something else I say about the uh, this uh, from the death music. You also don't run into to the potential uh, uh, thing of uh, getting your video demonetized because of the music that's in uh, it's in it. The previous video of this didn't get demonetized, but the first video since the update which is two videos ago actually did thanks for the devs i'll say devs i love your game but freak's sake come on guys i'm just gonna say this hearing this music again is honestly hitting me with a bit of a nostalgia trip you guys are probably wondering how but this is the music that i heard when i first started playing the game now, that's not saying that the new music is bad, but it also goes back to me saying, yeah, the monetization is a thing. And you guys noticed that, uh, you guys probably noticed that I am going to need to do this middle hallway a bit differently because this section is a lot wider due to this being in the middle of a beam instead of Let's say in between two beams instead of being in the middle of one, much like this one and the first one is. Or the first, yeah, the first one. I almost said two. Well, it is technically two because it's two hallways, but section, I should say. Here we go. Got all the hallways installed. And I decided to uh, put in two meter wooden beams to keep it the theme here. And I think it looks rather nice. Like, because like, they're nothing not too obtrusive, like, they sort of like blend in with the actual craft itself, and oh my lord. And the good thing about having these here is that you will be able to travel between each section. And what I might do next is I might put in stairs into the uh, bottom ones here, so you'll be able to uh, get up and down the uh, doors easy, or, or easily. Oh yeah, I mentioned this in the last episode, but I want you guys to see this music real quick. I mentioned that this music reminds me of something. I remembered afterwards that it does remind me of something. It reminds me of Titanfall music. <laughs> Don't ask me how I managed to make that connection. I've seen a few Titanfall 2 videos, trust me. Especially the ending sequence. What? But... Uh, well... What do you guys think of this? Having the wooden beams up. I don't know, I, I kind of like this. Kind of like gives like, uh, the doors a bit more depth. And I think, you know what? I'm going to do the same thing up here. Here we go. Where's this look? I think this looks pretty good. It's like... I don't know, like... It gives like a... Like I said, it gives it a bit more depth. It gives it a bit more character to it instead of just having flat doors stuck, uh, stuck to a side of a wall. And plus, it also gives a bit of extra armor as well. I'm not sure it's only wood, but still. Yeah, I do quite like this. This honestly looks really nice. And the reason why I didn't put stairs up here and I use slopes... Come on. Putting stairs upside down in the ceiling would just be stupid. I mean... Sure, down here makes sense. But up here? You gotta be kidding me. So I'm leaving it like this. And with all that done, now it's time to work on the actual body itself. Now, this should... Oh, man, that honestly looks really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm kinda... I'm actually proud of this. 
but yeah, now I'm going to work on the front, uh, say the front and the back of it, which, well, it's just going to be the same thing I've done before with um, the uh, corners, the uh, corner edges just, uh, just sloping into a point and the, um, the flat sides or the flat parts just um, going out and then angling down. I don't know, like, I've re I like that design. Because, like, it's not really something that I've seen before. Because, like, I know I I keep on saying this, and I know I'm going to evidently sound like a broken record. But, I want to see, basically see what I can actually do with this game. I want to, basically... Put my mind to the test and see what I can actually make with it. And if I must be honest, I'm becoming pretty sad satisfied with this so far. Okay, I just need to remember how I did this. Oh, so I'm going to screw up royally. And I think it's just a Titanfall 2 music playing. No? Yes, it is. I spawned in the uh, brute a little bit or for a bit just so I can get a reference point as to what the hell I'm doing. Because I want to make sure I get this done correctly. Because, like, I am, this is something I am not used to. And I want to make sure that I get it done correctly. <laughs> Else I want to uh, else I want to look like a complete idiot. And I know there's been many a times I just make myself look like a complete idiot you know, dumbass. But I would rather not continue that trend. Now Okay, okay, okay. Now I see it, now I see it. Yeah, I right at the edge of this last block here, or like right in the line with the last block. I go with the um, the four meter long beams here, and then I start uh, tapering it off. Now I believe it's yeah, it's this one, and that's what gives me the uh, shape that my previous well, hello lag, and my previous ships do. I actually do like the uh, look of this sh shape too because it's something. That I don't normally see. Or at least not from the ships that I've seen. I have seen uh, quite a few ships on the workshop. But I don't quite remember if there's any with this type of design. Okay. So now. Let's do this. Okay. Yep. See I already screwed up. Wait is this. This sounds like more like um, traditional from the desk music. And I don't know why, but I got myself to a bit of a habit of basically me saying, Oh, this looks like this. Or like, this looks like this person. And it always turns out to be, that's exactly who, what, what or who it is, and I draw, and I intend to draw myself at the wall with it. Because I, it's just so much of me like trying to make myself look, um, well, me trying to be smart, but what just wanted just being as a complete freaking dumbass instead. Uh, it's kind of annoying, honestly. You're, because like it's more so of like, ooh. Like I want, like I want to get it right, but I do get it right, but not exactly. Uh, it's more so turns into no shit Sherlock moments more than I would honestly like, evidently. Guys, I'm known to drop myself at the wall, and that's one of those cases. <laughs> and I already royally screwed up. So I thought that I went from uh, four. Like the four meter slopes here to one meter. I go from four to two. 
because right at the end here of uh, this beam right here where the four uh, corner slopes start I actually put in uh, two meter beams that looks kind of cool I'm not gonna lie that looks kind of gnarly well if I do make any like evil ships sometime in the future I know what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing this God damn it, does that, does that look awesome? It looks like claws! And what does an evil ship need? Claws! Or spikes at the very least. It also pays to have the mirror on as well. I wonder how many of you guys took notice of that. <sighs> and also make sure I have your mirror, uh, mirror centered as well. Uh, brain, seriously. And also make sure to have a brain when you're building stuff. So I was wondering why these uh, spikes wasn't lining up. Guys, when you have a look on the left and look on the right. One side is flared in and the other side is just flat. I'm going to draw myself off the wall with this. Now that I got everything finally fixed up, my brain seems to be working. I got some work to do. Guys, I just realized I just spawned the clusters for reference material and I made a mistake. And when you guys have a look at the back here, I here I have the four meter slopes, but then I go into a one and start tapering off into a two and it just gets cut off. In the previous designs, I would taper off into a two length and then I'll go into one layer of um uh, extended slopes like the ones that you guys see here on the side and then I go into the back wall <laughs> whoops okay now I'm going to get ready and put the back wall in and I did something a little bit different you guys can probably see it on the um, right side over here I'll explain why I did that here in a minute I don't know what it is but this back pattern is actually kind of satisfying to me because like, you have the black strips going across and you have like the brown strip of wood going across it in between. I don't know, I really like that. Okay guys, this is what I wanted to show you and I also made a mistake. Again. Uh, uh, I'm just making loads of mistakes with this thing tonight, holy crap. But this is basically essentially what I want to do and what my mistake was this here was only supposed to be three long but I instantly made it four and I'll show you guys the inside here in a second once I get all this put in and this is essentially what I want to do here oh there's a four beam literally right here and the reason why like I altered up the design a little bit. I have in, um, at the four meter beams in here instead of like the two ones at the previous designs. Oh wow. Hmm. I wonder what it looked like with this. Whoops. Okay, I did not mean to do that. Eh, the other design is better. What do you guys think? So I don't know, like having the small thrusters like this is a bit too cluttered. Yeah, I really like how this looks, and plus, uh, as you guys see here, I used um, two layers of... Hell? Okay. I used two layers of uh, slope blocks here instead of using just one. Because I want to have the layer of wood and layer of metal here. Like sandwiched in between the thrusters, instead of just like having wood and like metal and thrusters mixed in. Because I want to make sure to have that cushion. It seems to be looking pretty good. Now to do the same for the front and pretty much practically draw myself off the wall with it. Some of you guys would be wondering why I do the start of the design like this before I flare it out like the uh, like a, uh, previous designs. Because if I start to flare it out right here, I'll show you guys here what I mean. Like it would look a bit... Like the flared out bit will be a bit too long and this part right here will be really skinny because it just be a single um, 
uh, slow piece. It literally just be that with armor wrapped around it, which I'm not. I'm honestly not too fond of this design. So, but doing this for small builds, like root tiny builds, would fit pretty well with it, especially how deep this goes. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like now what they got doing with the music is they got the old music mixed in with the new stuff, which I'm not complaining. <laughs> so I do like both uh, types of music in this game. And that's one thing I get in this game. Like, this game does have really, really good music. Like in terms of like the old original stuff you guys are currently hearing right now and the uh, new stuff. I literally have no complaints. And well, I love this game in general, but I think you guys get the gist. I'm really sure you guys how this, like, this is strange to me. You can actually move, like, the light source around. So it should be... Uh, I don't think putting it outside, genius, is quite a good example. Yeah, I'll put it in here. Now, uh, let's see. Um. Okay, so oh god, yeah, you can change how intense it is, and you can even oh yeah, you can move the light source around. <laughs> That's cool. So you could have like the um. A light fitting somewhere hidden and you could have like the actual like, light source somewhere else so you can basically like turn anything into a light now that's cool Ooh, I just came with an idea prime example with shadows turned on the light source is actually inside of this porthole it would be kind of cool though if they had like a like a little ball of light yeah it's right here it's literally right here That, that's a really cool effect with the shadows. But it would be cool if there was like a little tiny ball of light that you could color. Unless that's an actual thing. No. So that's pretty cool. Oh, these are pretty handy. I've seen these ones here. But not these. This is for making tanks. It's for hovercrafts. But I think I know how to do that by now. Is a prop plane, a jet frame, hovercraft frame, Roger for example, submarine trainer. I might actually make some subs sometime in the future, and I think I have a way that might be pretty effective. I have to show you this one. Really? <laughs> for you guys who've been watching the uh, Terror Tech series, you guys know I find it, why I find this a bit amusing. What? Walkers, okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So how does this work? Don't mind me asking. I mean, it looks cool. How does it work? Play around stickiness. Okay, forward friction. So do you just like attach stuff to this, and it would just like start moving? That's cool. Okay, I think this is looking a bit better. I'm just basically just widening these out now. I'll show you guys what I got done with the windows here in a second. But yeah, I'm honestly liking this more. And it might uh, widen out the uh, hallways on the inside. Because currently right now, these have, what, three layers of metal? Which, I mean, is, is good. For like uh, protection, but I don't want to put too much in and have this thing weigh like 10 tons, even though this thing probably already weighs 10 tons. But I digress. Okay. Let's finish these up now. Yeah, I think I'm going to open these up a little bit. Mm, see how these look. Watch this epic music plays in the background. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you something. 
Here's what these look like with these pillars. And this is what these look like with these. I think the the uh, two meter beams look a bit uh, look a bit better. What do you guys think? So look like more like actual like, support beams instead of just like having like just slopes there. I don't know. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions, uh, please let me know. So I'm always open to them. Wait, did I just? Oh. Yes, I did. Wait, that is... Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I started breaking through the wrong wall. Okay, that's not exactly something I intended to do. <laughs> this lighting looks a bit weird. So, you guys see just like how it goes like from like light and it just cuts off? Now I got these a bit bigger and yeah, the actual main hall itself is done and this thing is, looks... This thing just looks n nuts. If I must be honest, this thing is just ridiculous. And yes, I actually do have two uh, seats in here because what well, this thing is made to be symmetrical. I mean, it's come to Gemini for crying out loud. All right, that's going to do it this, uh, this time, guys. Next time we will be continuing work on this because if I must be honest, like, this is the most biggest ship that I'll, I'll take in so far. Well, currently, the last ship that I undertook was probably the Sky Hailer Destroyer. But this is the biggest ship that I undertook on camera. Like, this thing is... A sp I, even though it's literally just doing the same thing twice, like, mirrored, it's still big. And next episode, I will be putting in uh, the ammo and stuff. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these spots right here. And I'm going to put in basically like the ammo and uh, like resource stuff because yeah, because you have this area here which is going to be really hard to hit. And plus you also have this stuff right here. So anyway guys, raise the like button from the depths if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and ring our bell if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Later guys. Wow. This is going to be one hell of an undertaking of a build. And I'm honestly really liking it. Though, something did just come to my mind. I think this looks a bit better than the uh, this one here. Probably not so much to having the beams flipped. Ah! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments.